Yep. Hello everybody, welcome to season 50 first round match between Zahu and his Skaven and the mentor Mori and his Wood Elves. Um, in the booth with me is Skurametsu. Hello. Hello, as you can tell from Jim's very lively, very exciting uh, uh, introduction there. We've been waiting all day for this game between two coaches we don't know and two teams we don't care about. <laughs> this one is going to be an absolute barn burner. Actually, it could be a really good game. Wood Elves and Skaven have the potential to really turn it on. Looks like we're just going to be one turning our way through this game. Or, well, we're not yeah, now, but he was definitely that looks up like that turn, was, wasn't yeah, that was definitely the plan. And now he might just lose the ball. Yeah, and that seems a bit of a crazy match versus, like, that seems a bit of a crazy idea. Like, what if he gets blitzed on, he just loses instantly. Like, that was a bit all eggs yeah. in one basket, wasn't it? Sure was. Is there a natural one-turner on the Skaven team? There uh, isn't, isn't no, there? No, he's moved nine with sprint sure feet. He's yeah. moved ten without sprint. <laughs> two heads, so he, he kind of had to take two heads, and he wants to go the double because the two heads is great. But I guess he... Uh, he just qualified as like the worst Skaven, and that's why it's not finished. Because like you'd really want to finish this guy, wouldn't you? Um, and his blitzes are a bit crap. Rookie and might blow tackle, but really nice gutters. Uh, these three are all really nice. Um, and then obviously, ne this one's nearly really nice. Um, Jim's meds warm up. I don't know what you mean, but uh, <laughs> I'm absolutely fucking shattered. By the way, I I, I lie down for a quarter of an hour, and I'm just like. I'm shattered, I'm ready to go to sleep. Um, so, but you know, luckily, Skuro's here to carry and yeah. he's brilliant. And, uh, yeah, I, I have very little intention of talking about this game so much, but we can talk about whatever for <laughs> however long this game is going to last. Is this live or is this a replay? This is live, this isn't is it? This is live, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it could go quick. <laughs> Teams like this can rip through the game. Yeah, yeah. We'll see which team goes up 2-0. Actually, a team going up 2-0 in this matchup isn't even the game over. No, it isn't. No, and, it's, and like the Skaven have got a wizard, so you know they like. I guess that's why he was going for the one turn to just negate the wizard completely. Yeah. And uh, wizard and the babe and the woodies have thirteen players, which is pretty nice, isn't it? And thirteen for the rats as well. And and obviously they've got uh, the rats are not only the wizard, they've got skitter, so they've got five. Skitter. Mm. Jesus. Range levels of one at one hundred. Yeah, no, nothing to do with modes. I'm just I'm just shattered. And. <laughs> Yeah, there was. Oh, uh, to leak art is yeah. He's sleeping to get his. Uh, he's just sleep. He's streaming continuously to make the hours for the uh, the ad incentive. Um, it's got twelve people watching too. Jesus I know. Christ. Yeah. It's sick, what is he it? even streaming right now? Just the fucking screen. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so you know, I'm I'm not going to do it yet because I, I did it I did it a little bit like I did about a twenty hour stream of uh, of being AFK and doing Minecraft. Um, hey, at least you were doing so. I came in at one point and said something and you didn't respond. I was like, well, fuck you then. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I think yes. that says something about yourself, Shrappy. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> there you go, 12 people AFK in Minecraft, glorious. <laughs> and, uh, and then, but then Mr. Page and Lou Pack both said that if your average viewers are bad, it fucks you on the, uh, yeah. on the thing. Yeah. So I'll see what it looks like and then, you know, I won't do it unless I have to next month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's the problem. That's the problem now with people trying to get partnered too. Is like all those days of building your community, streaming to five people, just completely shoot you in the foot. <laughs> yeah, Ricky, Ricky flated. I was gonna say. Yeah, Ricky flated. And uh, who, who, who did Rick flate? <laughs> Flicky raided. I just, I just said completely. <laughs> uh, yeah, Flicky raided was AFK. Lovely, a lovely raid. Um, but yeah, I don't even know. That might have been a mistake to have done that AFK stream. If it, like, it might have fucked me more. Like, cause you get pro rated anyway. Like, so it might have been. You know, it, it might not Basically, be worth. 
given how Twitch works now, any stream you do that isn't Blood Bowl is probably a waste of everyone's time. Yeah. Like, you're just not going to get the same viewers, and then their Twitch is like, oh, he's not interesting anymore. I guess we're going to downgrade him. Yeah, that's that's the thing. So if if I'd rather they, I'd rather I missed out on a higher offer. Like I'd rather get ninety percent of a higher offer than a hundred percent of a lower offer, wouldn't I? Potentially, depending on how big it, because it, it varies wildly. Like the offers are mental. Like you know, like like Artemis yeah, got no offered idea. like twenty quid one week and then four hundred, like one month and then four hundred the next month and stuff. Like it's just oh wow, just, and it's just if he hits his streaming numbers. It's uh, it's just it's completely mystical and random yeah that's so, so weird yeah so it's it's really weird so like if i get offered a lot less next month than this month then obviously i won't i won't stream afk again but if i get offered about the same then it probably is worth <laughs> the afk to top it up <laughs> what you need is you need a group of volunteers to play blood bowl that can that you can just stream them playing Blood Bowl for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be ideal, wouldn't it? <laughs> just make a real streamer house, <laughs> not just yeah. Sims, <laughs> an actual real one. Oh wow, gets the big pow. Tell tell you what, if you got if you have a good if you have a good number coming up in a month, in the next by the end of the year, November or December, let me know. I'll do a 10-hour Blood Bowl stream for you. Oh, thank you. What a legend. I will grind CCL for you oh. out of love because I haven't played CCL in about... I think I've played it this year, but I'm not positive about that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a legend. What's the... Someone Someone do the command to see the last season I played CCL in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's recent... I, I think recent will just come up zero for me. Yeah, it'll be history. It'll be history, but you'd have to do it in Discord, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Ah! Sounds like a... Yeah. Oh, you oh, fucking Oh, wrong. Yeah, you gotta do Scaramezzo for me, unfortunately. Yeah. You gotta write the whole thing out. I'll, I'll, I'll get it done. I probably haven't had more than ten games in a season in over a year at this point. Maybe not. Maybe, like randomly sometimes in the winter when it's like you know four feet of snow on the ground fucking zero degrees fahrenheit out i'll be like yeah i could play blood bowl all day today 37 season 37 was the last time you played more than five games <laughs> well i winner three seven baby <laughs> so yeah season 40 there were four games and season 47 there were four games four games yeah yeah 58 minutes average, though. Oh, baby. I think the Norse, I think that Norse team was actually the last run I did. Cause I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to play Norse. I've never played them. Ah. Ooh, this is uh, interesting, isn't it? This big formation here, the uh, the Vengabus. This could be a good Fireball. wizarding. Yeah, it could yeah. be a good uh, tempting wizarding, maybe. Do you fireball it or lightning bolt it? Because you do have an edge five. Yeah, probably bolt in with the edge five, get back yeah. to the edge uh, four, and fuck off. It's 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 worth thinking about. Like, I'm not saying you'll do it, but it's worth thinking about. Isn't it? I agree. But on the other hand, as the rats, you've got to be like, well, I'm gonna score no problems anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so maybe a fireball and just see if you get lucky, you know, like because the fireball's pretty great, isn't it? Like, okay, he's already not, he's already not doing it. Yeah. it might, well, it just it was worth thinking about. Yeah, no, I think I, I I agree with you. I just I I do think there's a world in which you look at this as the rats and you're like, well, he's either gonna stall this out for eight turns, in which case, I'd rather just take my pretty high odds one turn, and have the wizard in the second half to win the game two one. Uh, but I guess that's not a guarantee against their own one turn. So, mm. Mm. And, pl and plus, as Rick always says, the earlier you use the the wizard, like you know, any any removals are like multiplied, aren't they? Kind of. So like, yeah. it, this was. I mean, this is a great one to hit. Dancer three catches. Like that's yeah. a that's a really good wizard um, in terms of attrition. And then obviously, like you know, he's got the blitz in with. He could have blitz. He could have blocked with a lineman. Then he could have blitzed in with a tackler and. An assist and and the other gutters like he could have made a real 
A real good play on the ball there. A really interesting game plan by the Wood Elves, too. Starting off with the one turn that failed, and then mm. now, like, still quick scoring, but not two turning. Yeah. So, this is going to be a wild... This might actually be a wild game. Yeah, yeah, it's making me regret that I'm so fucking shattered. <laughs> uh, see, th these games have a tendency to wake people up. Yep, well, there's a, there's oh, a removal. Oh, big cast, too. Yep, and... Oh... Um, Apposite, yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a babe as well for uh, Zahir. Mm -hmm. So wizard, babe, and skitter. And that's for yeah. That's for this game. Yeah. How are they then, down that much? They've got. Yeah. The wood elves are pretty nice. Crazy. Loads of stats as well. Yeah, yeah. Strength. Look at war dancer. Strength up dancer, move up dancer, move up. <laughs> guy there. Didn't even break armor. Yep. Loads of loads of dodge and stuff. And the the Skaven haven't got skills on the Storm Vermin, so they've they've got they've actually like they're pretty min max the Skaven, right? They've got, yeah. They've got three three good gutters and then nearly a fourth good gutter. Um, so yeah. The invincible dancer recovers. Oh wow! Is is he gonna is he gonna dodge away from tail? Like he can't, can he? Got tail and shadowing, so he, he can't dodge here. Yeah. Literally can't dodge. So does he just score to stop him getting stabbed? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello, Dadel. How we doing? Looks like Dadel's gonna come in to bring some righteous fury to wake Jim up. Hey. <laughs> I was just uh, gonna suggest you get some sugar, maybe some honeyed tea in you. Oh, hello. No, I can't. I hello. can't have sugar. <laughs> you can't? Why not? Because it's bad for you. Yes, <laughs> but it's also good for you when you're tired. Do you know what else is good for you when you're tired? Actually going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, resting and not casting Blood Boy. Huh? <laughs> no. I've no. been enjoying some sugar-free Jolly Ranchers, They're, uh, which is kind of weird to me because it's, a Jolly Rancher is just sugars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. I'm, I do get the feeling that I should have just ended the stream, but hey, good yeah. touchdown for uh, the Woodies there. This Ooh, game, Mike, this, this game's going to get wild. I think I think we're in for a treat here. Yeah, it has the potential. Like these, uh, these two teams can just like evaporate each other, and then like, yeah, one failed two plus, and everything's open. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be one of those games with who snakes at the worst time. Yeah. He's, he's, he had the uh, Gadenic set up there, isn't he? Obviously, he's, he's watched the Jimmy Fantastic setup guides there. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> it's the only only explanation. I can't even speak. I can't even think. <laughs> speak sentences. But we're uh, this is uh, one thing that is a bit interesting, right? Because like he's not protecting his dancers um, mm. here. Yeah, and there is a mighty blow tackler. This is uh, very uh, very interesting. Not what I would do. <laughs> but who can say if it's good or bad? This sure, this sure reeks of the inevitable Wood Elf Blitz, though. I, th I think this is even worse. Like you're just, yeah, it's just, it's not very likely that you do get quick snapped on. But what if there's a quick snap? Yep. Like, <laughs> why? But like, if you're if you're the Skaven here, you've got to set up anti blitz and nothing else. Like, literally, that's the only big problem you're gonna have. You know, for the rest yeah, of this path. I'd, I'd, I'd like to uh, do like a combination, right, where I can take advantage of both the quick snap and go anti blitz. Um, well, I'm here. To, I'm here to. I'm here to insert. More. 
I'm here to insert the same politics on PC's behalf, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> never fear, Robino. Robino, I am very good at talking politics as well, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm just as much of a socialist as PC is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, for once, I feel, I feel, I feel at home. I don't get I don't I don't get those levels of comfort in America often. So I, it's nice when it comes up. Yeah. <laughs> this is not enough of an anti blitz setup. I think he's gonna get blitzed on here. Yeah, yeah I mean where what else can he do? Um, but put three on the line and forego your uh, your hits. But yeah, you can just bring in one guy to do the hits. Like yeah. it's on. It's not costing you that much, is it? To uh, to make yeah, hits. that is fair. Uh, but it's only like how much more does it offer of? I mean, it, it's almost impossible to keep the wood elves back on any type of blitz with yeah, any type of I setup. Think, I but. Think... I think this is decent enough. Like you're, you've got your uh, one tackler uh, <laughs> written in fucking stone. Written in fucking kick. stone. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been on point today. Oh, look at that kick! Look at that kick! Yeah, because he's got kicked. Like he, he decides where the ball goes. So like you can't really go too much anti blitz anyway. Um, I think he could have done more than this, though. Yeah, yeah it, would, it probably he wouldn't have, have helped. Sacrificed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he could have brought one more back than done his own chevrons. That and and like put the gutter that's now deep uh, for the pickup. Put him more central. Um, that would have been better. Uh, obviously. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's probably what she should. Because that's the thing is, like, yeah, yeah, he risks losing his LOS hits, but he's not. His LOS hits aren't gonna mean shit right now, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I no, think he's probably at a so, wizard right now. Yeah, that's the thing. The blitz is so devastating, isn't it? Versus these teams yeah. that you you really do have to defend against the blitz first and foremost, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah no, you're you're right. It's just like that is the thing that loses you the game yeah, of like, anything that could happen at the moment, you know. The thing is, I never keep one gutter that far back as he did, so I kind of forgot that he had that gutter um, when I was counting mm -hmm. like how many players he could put put right. up. Um, it's gonna be a hell of a fireball, though. Yeah, I mean he has to, right? <laughs> Assuming that's a catch. But, yeah, 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 instant fireball. Might yeah. even have to, uh, you might have to bolt though, right? Because like you yeah. can't rely on a fireball, but it's so many players. But he's got the he's got the gutter free, the uh, strip uh, gutter. Yeah, he's so got like, the strip gutter, and he's got the tackle yeah. mighty that he can free. Right? Yeah. So like, you can yeah. free him, and he's got him free already. So yeah, you could go and like it's pretty tempting to go for the fireball just because the just because the dance is there as well. Yeah. I think I think I fireball just because like yeah he didn't, yeah too. He didn't do either <laughs> and he's already oh, activated his mighty blow tackler yeah that's this is just insane mm -hmm. well a dub scald as well so he's fucked <laughs> bangs a large thud drops a hand grenade then fucks off. <laughs> 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 It's not much of it. No one's. It takes a lot to argue against that point, though. If you're not, I know, but it's not rich, and you're voting in favor of rich people politics. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, to be fair, like regardless of what, like you can argue the morality of anything, can't you? And then, and but, and also, you should at least vote what's in your self-interest if you're not going to do what you think's morally correct, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? 
Like, if that's you're voting thing. for rich people because you think you're going to be rich one day, you're lying to yourself and yeah, others. Yeah, but that's I mean, yeah. but like, but, but both have got a point, haven't they? Do you know what I mean? Like, you can argue that that the rich people voting Tory are like are morally reprehensible, but at least they're voting yeah. in their own best interests. Whereas, yeah, whereas course, the poor right, people right, who right, vote for Tories aren't even course, doing that. Reprehensible. <laughs> they got rich in the first yeah. place. Like that's. <laughs> but like, there are people that exist that are you know like like. I'm not to like put myself on a pedestal, but I do not vote in my own best interests. Yeah. As a somewhat affluent white male in America, I vote against all of the things that prop up that level of society. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Happily, because I want other people to have the same level of comforts I do. Yeah. Of course. Well, there you go. He just goes in for the one D, gets the uh, gets the gets full it. pal. Easy <laughs> I mean... as you like. <laughs> It just, it just wasted his, blew his dub skulls first action and then uh, found the dancer, found this one. and This ball could literally morons. be anywhere though. This could be a mess for him. It could yeah. be. In the crowd. And in right the into the, oh, I th oh, that's pretty lucky. I thought that yeah. was going into the hands of a war dancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is uh, one of the few good scatters he had left. Yeah. <laughs> in comes the stab. In Three comes seven. the squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty that good. Is amazing. He, need, he needed that. <laughs> oh, I, think he, I think he should have uh, punched the guy in the middle with Skitter um, to free up the two left hits to like free up the entire line. Mm -hmm. yes. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think I, I think I kind of agree. The problem is, of now course, he's gonna that have the, a uh, the dancer can get it. He, he might have been better off handing off here, you know. He, he maybe should have mm -hmm. handed off to this guy. And I know it's an extra two plus without a reroll, but he could have handed off to this guy and he could have just run right into the corner. Yeah. And then at least he'd be out of range of this dancer this turn, because at the moment yeah. this dancer can come in and smash him to pieces. Kind of. Does this does this Skaven team have no guard? Does this yeah. Wood Elf team have no guard? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is rare, a, t a game without guard. Who would have yeah. thought? Oh wow! Just to just oh because the, the one D gets the push for the two D yeah so the instant two yeah. D on the ball with tackle yeah didn't even have to leap in tackle yeah this is, and this is exactly why I wanted to stab the guy in the middle uh -huh. but I mean he could have still left it anyway right like so so either way yeah, it's like it was but, but but it's still like you're you're forcing a three plus at least uh, I prefer I prefer the handoff to uh, find out more about these oh, yeah, 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 I think that that is uh, for sure I want to want him to do that as well but like this is why he had to stab with Skitter yeah yeah ah, he's, <laughs> he's trying to run away from Skitter <laughs> yeah tail he's been bamboozled tail and shadowing glorious <laughs> he, he, he forgot about it for sure um, yeah I mean, he didn't really have an option. He wanted to take the 2D on the ball. But... Yeah, but, but like, he forgot about when he made that dodge out because that's yeah. just a 1 in 9 to like end the turn yep. and yep. Give, it, give the initiative back to... And a, lot of, and a lot of field to the right for the Skaven if they can uh, survive this. Oh. And... Oh. Is he going to pass it? I, just keep, I guess he just keeps it. Yeah. Where's the... I don't see he any guard to the... Like I was thinking, if this you know if this guy wasn't here, maybe he passes it to him and just tries to bang it in. But no, he's just gonna yeah. and, just gonna try and cage, which is obviously the right thing to do. Boobies, hello, Dimmy. <laughs> hello, Dimmy. <laughs> wow, Skitter gets to stab the strength four dancer. Oh my god, how exciting! <laughs> 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 That's pretty how uh, how quickly do you think that will come in Instant. when this turn starts? <laughs> like, no, he's got to think about the wizard, actually. To be fair, he's yeah. got to think about the wizard first. And, and the fireball yeah. there is not bad, is it? Especially as you can yeah. get the stab as well. So, yeah, I think fireball well. here and then stab. Yep. I think I agree. Yeah. Five this, fireball. This time you, you really can't open that cage. Um, yeah. Last time he could open the cage, with, which he did. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, you got you got a fireball here. You just got it. I mean, you can technically open the cage here, but that does require stabbing, not the war <laughs> Yeah, no, you've you've got to you've got to you've got to fireball. It's he's it's... definitely putting the thinking in on it. That's for sure. Mm. 
And the dancer's too good, isn't it? The dancer's yeah. too good. Yeah, Wood Elf team looks a lot different without that dancer, huh? Mm. Yeah, because like the other one doesn't even have a strip. Um, so like obviously like it's easy enough to get the two of these uh, with the players against Gaben, but he doesn't call for it, and he hasn't done wow. the stab yet. Oh my god! Wow! This, this is. Uh... <laughs> You're generally losing your game if you're uh, if you're uh, end capping a, a wood elf in your <laughs> downfield, yeah. and they've stolen the ball from you. Like game's pretty much over at that point. Yeah, he's done his two D before his stab. Do you stab? <laughs> it's it's because he he went for the play that I said uh, with uh, opening the cage, maybe not stabbing the dancer. Um, but now that he can't get in, he's stabbing the dancer, and he fails. Yep. Cool. Well, this might be over. <laughs> yeah, be, this yeah. is very disappointing. Hey, he put a lot of thought into that wizard, so he must have a reason for it. But I think I, th I think the reason was what I said. Like it, there yeah. was a way with stabbing the wrestler instead, yeah. where you get into the cage without using the wizard. So he's going for that, and just like, all right, he can't score next turn. Uh, reliably, so I'm sort of safe in that regard. Um, if I don't score here, going in 0 1 isn't the worst, but like 0 2, um, like there's yeah. gonna be a, a chance where I can use the wizard for a lightning bolt. Um, I, th I think that's that's his reason. I don't agree with this. Yes, yeah, uh, this is two, two games today where people's refusal to refusal to use the wizard has uh. Just put PC on the uh, put C PC on the warpath here. <laughs> <laughs> no, and not, not not incorrectly. I mean, the wizard should have been used there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because yeah, like opening that cage is it, it's doable, but it, like you're counting on a forty-two percent. Um, and that is after you get the knockdown with the, like, it's a 55% into 42%. Yes, yeah, it was very low odds, like, he yeah. did for, sure. for a 1D. Like, you at it's, least it's... ball and probably fireball, like, almost yeah. certainly fireball, I think. Yeah. It's just anyone going down opens up the cage for you. Yeah, and, and the raw damage of the fireball, exactly. Like, that tilts it right as well, because you're getting this yeah. relatively early in the match. Yep. That, that, that you yeah. could have easily made some money. Yeah, I, th I think that's what uh, tilts it, right? Uh, the, the value of the fireball there. Um, because, like, the bolt... Uh, his reasoning now is that he's saving the bolt for a better bolt. Oh, is he going to... No, okay. He's not... I thought he was going to, like, dodge through there or something. No, he's going to fall back. Mm, yeah, he's still got two turns to sort out. Can I give him another 5 health fireball here? Yeah. Like his primary goal here is to not not to score, but just like yeah. stop the rats. That's the, that's goal number one, yeah. and then then you sort out scoring from that. Yeah, it's taking like, away taking away the one turn from the rats on a it may on on what effectively ends up being an eight turn stall for a one nothing is yeah. pretty good. You know, yeah, it's good enough. But like if he can go up two nothing, obviously. Yeah, I he mean, he really seven. wants to go to him, look, doesn't he? Like, yeah, you know, of course. You've, but, got, you've got loads of move seven, move nine, move eight. Like, you really want to, you really want to score from here. Yeah, um, but every every turn, like, he's he's able to like produce a threat. He's yeah. he's forcing the rats to like divert resources into the field where they don't want the resources if they want to score themselves. So so like, he's giving himself time. And yeah, I, I think this is the correct play from. Like, I think well, he just the, couldn't get the forward, could he? Playing. But I think I'm sure he wanted yeah. to get forward. He just he just fucking couldn't. Like, yeah. You know, if, if this guy wasn't here, then he probably does dodge everybody through and, and cages up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just you know because also like he's still in the danger zone, right? If he if he does get like you know if the dancer gets bolted or they get fireballed or whatever, then the rats can can definitely steam through with a little full and just have a full cage or, or full screen and stuff, can't they? So. It's very dodgy, like he definitely wants to get the tutty and go to him Yeah, 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 for sure. 
And it's quite good having it on a shit headline, or because you don't really want to ball this guy, do you? Whereas if he had, if yeah. he had it, if he had the ball on the dancer, the dancer would have been bolted all day, like last turn. Like there was, yeah, yeah. there's no way on earth he couldn't yeah. have bolted him last turn if the dancer had it. So this is great that he's got the ball on a shit headline, or <laughs> yeah, the, the literal worst player ass, <laughs> serious B. <laughs> Oh, I think I'll get a cup of tea. I, I am feeling a bit more awake now. I'll go. Yeah, that'll happen. That'll happen. You're, high, you're welcome. <laughs> high edge teams. Yeah, high edge teams will wake you up. If this was like Nurgle versus Norse, you'd be killing yourself right now. Yeah. <laughs> God, one more Nurgle game and I, I will kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> But now yeah, he's falling the, into this turn i don't hate the not using the wizard because like yeah. now you've got the woodies like now you're pushing them backwards yeah, you're yeah controlling yeah. it with downfields like now you you settle for the plan that you you put yourself on yeah it's just one of those things too it's like when you like you've got to look back and be like oh that i missed my opportunity with yeah. the wizard but then the response is like probably an overcorrection where you're like, well, I'm definitely not going to wizard now because I had a better opportunity last yeah. turn. But you can get yourself into trouble that way too pretty yeah, damn exactly. quickly. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand why he didn't blitz the uh, dancer here though. Like you can't be that yeah. scared of uh, failing the dauntless. Like, yeah, it's good. Not. It's good to guarantee the knockdown or the 2D, but like you're getting a hit on the dancer. Yeah, yeah. Like if what? anyone knows, if anyone knows what the elves should be doing right now, it's PC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a bit of a pickle, like, because the, uh, there is no way through here. Like, no clear way. But he's got the outlet to the kicker if he needs to. Like, again, like, he wants to score, doesn't have to score. Yeah, the thing is, like, where, when and where does he do that? That is, this what? is insane. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what's happening here. Now he's going for surf. He's surfing. He's just surfing a gutter to lose the ball. I mean, he's surfing <laughs> the biggest threat to the ball. Yeah. But this is he is losing though. Yeah, this is. Oh wait, no, he's not. <laughs> Feels like he, he's losing. He can't do this. I just did. Gets he's, nothing. He's like, this is how you lose the ball next turn, guaranteed. Yeah, now I would not use the wizard. I would just make sure that the elves don't score. But he gets to hit the other. He gets to hit the war dancer again. It's hit both war dancers. That is an insane base. I wish Jim had been here to watch that surf happen. I really, really missed opportunity. Missed opportunity yeah. on that one. Oh, poor play from Jim there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's all for two turns. Like, and it's like, yeah, but you've got your ball based still. And surfable. Very oh, surfable. Oh, no, he's got... No, it's there. not very surfable anymore. Like, he's all died. Yeah. He's Wait, does he? No, that's surfable. the other player has sidestep, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just surfable. Like, but it's tricky, so... Yeah. It might not even... No, it's not surfable. Holy shit. 
Oh boy, howdy! What happened here? How is it? Oh, you need. Stuff? You might need to go back and watch the decision making that happened. On this one. <laughs> it's only a turn, Jim. I think it's worth it. I think. Yeah. I think it's worth it for your reaction to what just happened. Oh dear, is it? Was it that bad? It was interesting. It was. It was an interesting yeah, decision. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think we need your input here, mm -hmm. and I need yeah. to make pizza as well. Are you blocked with a ball? Yeah, to surf. Yeah. To set up oh, a surf, surf. On, on a gutter. Yeah. Which, like, it's a gutter you want off the pitch. Fair enough. But, uh, you know, you got a ball to worry about. Also, hello, PC. Yeah, hello, PC. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. The <laughs> and he's taken away his scoring threat-ish. Like, it's still move nine, isn't it? So it's actually still a scoring threat. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay, that was... That was... Decisions. Decisions have been made. Now, the Skaven here could do a Nick fireball. Yeah. Well, not anymore. He doesn't want to... He doesn't yeah. want to pull the trigger on his wizard, does he? No, no, no. He really doesn't, Jim, um, and it's it's starting to trouble me. <laughs> Hello, PC. We need to do a wellness check at uh, Casa de PC. <laughs> not, in, not entirely to the level which that uh, bothered me. That bothered me more. Um, and I mean, Andy Devo just has a lot to answer for. I think is the only way of responding to that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Scaven gets the ball on the ground. It's confusing. I mean, these are two lovely teams being coached by people that clearly know how to do things with them, but the things they're doing with them are not the things that I think they should be doing. No. I, uh... I mean, I, yes, having a wizard dry is a great mental, you know, barrier against the opposition doing all sorts of things, and he does need to turn him over in the second half, so I guess he wants to try and make this all work without it. And the Wood Elf, bizarrely, having not had to, has given him incredible chances to do exactly that. I guess well, the Wood Elf is trying to, to win by attrition. I don't. It, it, this this ball going to that gutter man. is going to be something here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's making all the dice rolls so far, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's not going for it? He's not going for it. Oh my god, it is 75%. But his sure hands are agility four. He's not. Oh, what? you see, I don't. There's things I just don't understand that happen. A you lot. did all the stuff that you don't want to be doing with that specific gutter, and uh, yeah. not the thing that you want to be doing with that specific yeah. gutter. Not the thing you've built it to do. At the moment in its life where it is the most needed, where it can do you the most good, you go, yeah, let's die. Yeah. I, I, could, I could see going in, picking up and dodging out, and then not doing the pass. You know, yeah. like, I could see yeah. doing that, but like you've got to go for the pickup, man. It's fucking. You can't leave the ball on, on the ground. Against Never leave the ball on the ground against an elf. It's just. It's one of the first things you tell everyone about Blood Bowl. Because now it's just a three plus for any elf to pick that up. For goodness sake. How do you think that's going to work? Oh. It's not. Now it's a two plus. So you oh. run around, hand it off on a four, and then yeah. dodge through and score. Well, now you've got to step onto it and hope it bounces over a wood, dancer, a wood elf that dancer that doesn't catch it. Somewhere yeah. where yeah. you might get back control of yeah. it, which you could have had and chose not to. Yeah. Oh, but it's just perfect for him. It's right to the word answer. Doesn't catch it. It does exactly that. Oh, Blood Bowl. <laughs> Some days. Oh, my good lord. Good lord. This is uh, this is Wood Elves 2-0 here pretty easily. <laughs> Couple first, threes. The first thing I told my nephew when he was born was never leave a bomb on the ground. <laughs> Well, exactly, Moradam. <laughs> and you did right. You did right. <laughs> These are there's some foundations we can just build truth upon, and one of them is you don't leave a ball on the ground against elves. This is like, Never start a land war in Asia. That was awful, and it's well. like he just, wants the oh, opponent to leave oh, them. Oh, oh, oh. But if really wasn't even very good to hit that gutter, you were much better off picking it up than risking the scatter. Lucky just pick it up on a three, there. not a two. Just why yeah. not? Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that it's scattered to the best possible place for the rats is just—it's just nuffle going. Ha! It doesn't matter. It just I doesn't. Can't matter. I can't wait for this ward answer to get lightning bolted here. 
Oh, yeah, it, it'll be on a turn where it just doesn't matter, won't it? Well, like he hasn't this. got a reroll, so yeah, he's almost certainly going to lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, he can. Yeah, now that it's too late to actually oh, get dear. to one one of the half, why not? Why not use it now? Why I mean, must I mean, anything he, ever he, make he's sense? Still... He can't lightning bolt here. Too. No, he can't lightning bolt. He still definitely could tie this game, though. Like, it's yeah. not that yeah. hard. But, like, sure. using the lightning bolt to ensure it would not be the play. No. No, that's why I think it might happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that was that was the premise of my entire joke. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is the sort of day that makes you think, do you know what, if I was American, I'd vote Trump. I mean, why not? <laughs> <laughs> At least it's going to be funny matter? for a what few years. Matter anymore, until we right? all die, exactly. What does it matter? <laughs> I'm, Brexit I'm old means enough Brexit, climate PC. change probably uh, I'm old enough climate change probably won't affect me directly yeah. more so than it already currently is. I've got a house, it's on a hill, I'm fine. I, I don't have kids to worry about their futures. Fuck them, right? <laughs> All right, here we oh, go. Oh, kill me. <laughs> We've got the the blitz and then he might power him, right? He might power him if he, he might, him. he might. It's all okay, he's followed up, so there's intermittently some very good plays and some decent ideas, and then they just do something you think, well... I mean, follow there. Are they giving one turn in three to their kid's sister? I mean, what's... Are you... <laughs> yeah, and how do you follow there? How? Let's go further away from the ball and make sure we're not offering an assist onto that evil dancer we can't deal with. <laughs> it's a great thought process, uh, but perhaps in right retrospect they'll think, oh no, here. that wasn't okay. <laughs> Just in the cold, sober light of day, it's just something to think about. Was what I did utterly terrible? It's just it's oh, a question. He's not blitzed with that guy. He's not blitzed with the guy who should have blitzed, in my opinion. Oh boy. Oh boy. Scuro auditioning for a uh, what's it called? Quantum leap. <laughs> oh, the new boy. one or the old one? I, I oh haven't, boy, I haven't the seen. old one. He always used to go, oh boy. <laughs> oh, did he? Really? I don't remember that. I just remember that show fondly but not in intimately <laughs> I, I wonder if these guys have uh, he just went for all three pluses through tack and he's just yeah, literally going to go for yeah. mm. have these guys like taken shticks medicine <laughs> Dick. great great quote <laughs> good point Nick great quote good point that's incredible <laughs> Paraphrase Jim Jeffries, another Australian who had a good point on this. He said, um, constantly amazes him how people who are obviously thick bastards and who have clearly paired up with someone that is less smart somehow expect their kids to not be a completely thick bastard. I mean, it's genetics. <laughs> if you're an idiot and your partner's an idiot, odds are your kids are too. I think I saw a movie about that that Jim really loves. Yes. Yeah, you did. That idiocracy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very, very good. Great movie. Particularly the opening 15 minutes. The film itself yeah. doesn't quite live up to the premise, but the premise yeah. is brilliant. Yeah, the premise is brilliant. And sadly, Wally stole all of their best ideas and made it better. Absolutely. <laughs> good. We can agree on stuff about taste against Skr. I dislike it when we disagree. Stop being wrong about Rings of Power. I don't, I don't know why it matters that we can disagree on media content. Like, who cares? It doesn't. Well, I vaguely respect your opinion, which isn't true of more or less everyone else in Blood Bowl. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I thought, honestly, I had, I had no answers for all of the things you were saying in, in, uh, in terms of the acting and the drama. And yeah, the I could, I could respect your points about what you, your expectations to do with both. So it was nice to, you know, discuss it with someone intelligent. I, I, I have no issues. I have no issues. I was a little concerned because you just kind of disappeared last night. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I, I had to get up super early. My son had to get oh, to okay. leaning and had to leave the house at six forty-five. And then my gotcha. daughter, I wanted to take her in because she had two mock A levels today. Well, I did the opposite. I stayed up too late, slept in, ah. and joined back in on the Twitch uh, stream, and have done nothing today. Oh, I, I suddenly realized it was super late, and I was getting tired, and I am on pills, and I'm not very well. I just thought, no, it's it's, yeah, it's time to no, go. Oh, fine. and then Dimmy started talking about politics. I thought, no. <laughs> <laughs> we were kind of wondering, Dimmy's... Not, There's a Rubicon fair, his... has been crossed right now, and I'm his... not up for it. His comparison there was actually kind of fucking brilliant. Like, it was delightful... <laughs> It was one of the smartest things Dimmy ever said. <laughs> right. I just, well, cleverest, I, mean, I, knew, I knew it was going to. Dimmy is, has a has a great, a really good mind. His views on politics are very interesting, and I've debated it with him before. 
but I just yeah, it was it was either going to be another two hours or not. And I yeah, no, I, I get you, I get you. I've been, in, been no, in for once yet. I didn't mean it as a as a backhanded insult or anything. It wasn't <laughs> that, being clever. Uh, <laughs> that one post Among Us conversation with Machinia. Come on, Jim, that's how I live and nice communicate. Movie. You know, that. it's like I was like, I gotta go. I just gotta, I just gotta leave. <laughs> it's like, I can't do yeah. this anymore. <laughs> Oh, but I also felt it would be funny to leave that way as well. Yeah. When you when you I, said I, your I daughter was it. was uh, had a couple of mocks, I thought I thought she was an avid Magic the Gathering collector and was, had, had hit the jackpot with getting a couple of mocks. But uh, never mind. I don't know what that is. No, but but well, there's plenty of there's plenty of uh, nerds here that will get that joke. So there you go. Right. I, I, I actually make me do. What was the card called? Mox Mox Viper Mox. Mox. Well, there was five of them, wasn't there? Mox Mox Sapphire Mox Ruby Mox. Uh, oh, that's what they were. Yeah, they were gems. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mox Pearl. Well, a weird amount of normality has worked as um, suddenly reared its head, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. The rats have got the ball in a good solid cage. I, I'm confused. Why isn't mad things happening? Mm -hmm. Why is oh, just, changed? just, just wait. We, we've got time, PC. We've got time and a wizard in pocket, baby. Anything could happen. Okay, well, already I don't like the fact that we're not going for the ball with the strength four, which seemed like a very simple leap to me. But I guess we no, might still get her off. On the other end of the field. Yeah. Get him off. Yeah, him gone is always good. So that's yeah. that's okay. And it looks like we'll be able to get the ball any turn we like. So. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we've got a strength four dancer with tackle, and they've got no guard, so we just <laughs> pop it. And even the strength three can pop it any turn he I, chooses. Can't he? I think our uh, I think our energy from the first tap has really gotten through to him. Now we're seeing elf columns and like cages. Mm. Yeah. And... Mm, what the fuck? <laughs> you ruined it, PC. We had something going here. <laughs> <laughs> someone's um. I think someone's passed him a very quick copy of a thousand losses playbook and speed read it. That's... <laughs> Or just draw him a picture. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what a turn, by the way. Look at that. Two stars. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. All these kills. Just removed the entire line of scrimmage. Nice made it irrelevant. <laughs> Herded all the rats up into a little pocket and said, see that ball? I'm coming for it soon. <laughs> Your opponent's line of scrimmage. <laughs> yeah. Is something. He's a deleted one and stunned too. That's that's a brilliant result. The rats can swap sides here, but it's tricky, isn't it? There's two elves you'd really want to remove, and you can only remove one. So that's just a swap to the middle and wait for the stuns to come back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See if you can take an elf off the pitch in the meantime, because you got nothing but time right now. He's not mm -hmm. going to try and win it in regular time here. It, yes, he's made well... no. It, no look like that's an attempt so far to do it, is it? Yeah, I was going to say, well, he's got a wizard, but I don't know that he even knows that anymore. So, <laughs> I guess in the rat position, it's uncomfortable for me. I mean, I am uh, obviously extremely good with rats. I have a 90% rat to win rate on Blood Bowl 2. Um, so from my, my rat insight, I'd say really what we're looking to do here is, is snipe a couple of elves and then see where we're at three or four turns in. If we can take three or four elves off the pitch, then we might score early. If not, I think we just ride the whole half out and see what happens uh, with the overtime ball. Have, have you played ten games with uh, with Skaven? <laughs> Five, which I'm sure we can all agree is a very reasonable sample size. <laughs> oh, yeah, you say, I, I do, I do not think I have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm unbeaten, Jim. Well pointed out. Yes, I had forgotten that. Do you know what? I've Possibly. never lost a game with Underworld on a. Uh... On Blood Bowl 2 or, or Kislev. I've never lost a uh, SFL final. Mm. Undefeated in SFL finals. Yeah, I've never lost an SFL final either. Yeah, I, yeah, but you've never played one. <laughs> I've, I've, I've never played not in two and won three. Thank Jolie you very much. That's, yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty incredible. I've been in two finals and won three. That's a great line. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in two SFL finals and won all three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> well, really, Jim, well done. You're the, you're the best of us. <laughs> that is actually impressive. <laughs> yeah. Whether you're zero zero and zero or one zero and zero or zero one and zero, it's all pretty impressive.
<laughs> no, Moradam, I don't think anyone has thought that perhaps that's the case of Memento Mori is the AI dressed up. I think we'd have oh. seen... <laughs> I thought you were talking about the movie! <laughs> <laughs> Trying to bring us back to last night's conversation about movies. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I wasn't. I was trying to bring us back to Blood Bowl, the thing we're here supposedly talking about. I thought Mordam was bringing up Memento. <laughs> oh, I see. What is the coach's name? Did not even did not even consider that the guy's name was Memento Mori. <laughs> <laughs> then trying to make anything else he he wrote hit that. Still quite no, no Mick film. It's quite difficult, isn't it? But... I didn't read the rest of what he said. After oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that's plan activated. That's, that's one decent elf gone. Yeah, it's the only guard on either team. Yeah. The one who Jim swore wasn't there. <laughs> who? What? Yes, Timmy. Uh, not in your channel, but occasionally in others. <laughs> that chat was flying during Ask Girl Anything. I could not keep up. k -Fog showed up out of nowhere and then disappeared. Oh, wow. How, how weird is that? Glorious. Not, I mean, not as weird as, say, Henry Cavill <laughs> that... it, or Queen Elizabeth II. I mean, he does play Blood Bowl. No, I know, but like uh, I don't know. It's just like didn't t didn't talk once during a day of Blood Bowl. Shows up to make a comment during Esker or anything, and then it's just gone again. <laughs> Shows where his priorities are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree. I, I'm worth it, but <laughs> I'm worth it. <laughs> you are, and not just in a pan ten sense, but in a very real sense. <laughs> God. Yeah, I don't know how those big streamers that get like thousands of people watching, like typing, like how they don't just instantly have an aneurysm with chat running. Mm. They, I mean, Dimmy's already ready for it. They just ignore them all. Yeah, <laughs> hire yeah a couple true. of mods that think they'll marry them eventually and let them talk to them. Yeah, like at least on YouTube, <laughs> they have that feature where you can like send them money to highlight like your your comment so that they can like only talk to the super chatters and like give them a way to make money off of it. I don't think Twitch has something like they that. They try to implement that on Twitch, yeah. yeah. Well, they have the donations, don't they? Uh, what's he called? Yeah, uh, yeah. Thingy. Yeah. The, the one that I watch. The Summit 1G, he, like, only ever reads the donations. And yeah, I mean, that's what most people on, on YouTube streams do when they're, like, have thousands of people talking. They just, like, they make sure they respond to every super chat yeah. so that if you want to ask anyone anything, you got to give them at least a fucking dollar. Yeah. Jesus, I went full Boston there again. Mm. <laughs> hey, Baza, I mean, in what is a very amaranth moment for you, I know, I'm going to have to inform you that um, you know, Dimmy is actually with a long-term partner and raising a child he treats as his own. I, uh, I, I think you could might be, be shit out of luck. Could be Polly, you know, you don't know. Yeah. Yes, unless he is polyamorous, yes. How, oh, how hateful and old-fashioned of me to not assume he was. <laughs> Anything can happen. That's what I said to Angelina. <laughs> Dimmy's in a polyamorous relationship with his wife and his floor. So. Oh, I think this is kebabs. <laughs> no. <laughs> he smashes that floor when his wife's in bed late at night. So. Oh, he smashes the Budweiser's. That could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, the floor the floor is just a, a, a semi-willing partner that gets drawn into it <laughs> oh, give it a oh, dear. <laughs> yeah my my druid in nick's D, D campaign has a scimitar so that has been the uh the oh, basis shit. for most of uh, most of the dicing nice. that I that I was able to pull off in that the scimitar <laughs> and the minotaur. Oh man, we have to fight a minotaur with a scimitar. <laughs> or indeed a minotaur with a scimitar. But mm. yes, I mean we all have. Our, I mean, there's nothing wrong with regional accents. I find them great. Apple no, in. no, we're getting there, Steve Mario. I think a minotaur would fuck us up right now. We're level one. <laughs> I once ran a, a 
dark elf um, druid, which of course dual wielded scimitars with their ability to wield in both hands. A druid or a ranger? Back then, you could have a dark elf druid. Yeah, you was, can still do. Possible. I mean, you can still do that now, and I think they right. can still dual wield. But usually, it's rangers because everyone wants to be dritzed. No, I hadn't read those books. Ah, fair enough. The what? The R.A. Salvatore's Dark Elf Forgotten Realms books. I shouldn't have asked. I only heard of <laughs> yeah, like the most Baldur's famous Gate D and D thing. books out there, more or less. Yeah, they're, they're very well known. He makes a, a guest appearance in the first Baldur's Gate, doesn't he? Uh, probably. And the he probably makes, yeah, probably makes. And if you kill him in the first, you steal his two scimitars. And I if have, you've got uh, him in the second, he gets terribly cross about it. I have played D and D with his son. <laughs> R.A. Salvatore's son, that is. I was going to say, I also, I also played in a Blood Bowl League. <laughs> also played in a Blood Bowl League with his son. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was just so good. The title's like, I regret asking already. <laughs> 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 so do I, Diddle. So do I. <laughs> just think of it as the octonauts of their day, Diddle, and perhaps you'll catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Spanks. <laughs> 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 they're fine they're just pulp fantasy books oh my god although I, I was never I always avoided anything from Warhammer um, literally oh he rolled a one on the bolt he saved it all that time he, did, he yeah, waited yeah, for the absolute perfect <laughs> of course it did that's what wizards are for amazing absolutely amazing oh god those were Forgotten Realms, not Warhammer books, but yeah. Okay, but yes, I mean, anything yeah. within AD&D &D or Warhammer. Oh, yeah, and then, um, I went on holiday yeah. recently, and Artemis Black lent me his favourite book, which happened to be... Uh, Velvet. Yeah, and it, I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Mm. What book was it? Beasts in Velvet. Beasts in Velvet. I am unfamiliar. Mm. Well, it was great. It's like a Warhammer book in it from back in the day. Like a war he says that apparently because it was very early in them doing the books, they had some proper authors in, which they eventually yeah. just fired and got staffers well, to write it. They they have a couple. Like I mean, Dan Abnett is like a legitimately good writer, and he, you know he's written a lot of stuff for Black Library. He I mean he fucking you know say what you will about the Marvel movies, but he he made the he made the story that the Guardians of the Galaxy movie is based on when he uh, rekindled those characters for them, like. It's one of the best uh, runs of modern, modern Marvel. Was his? Uh, then I'm, his I'm fine with it. Here. I just I want better writers, and anyone that's got that sort of pedigree, I'm prepared to give yeah. a chance to. That we don't seem to have enough of in the modern golden age of television. Hmm. I would recommend a series to anyone, but uh, he he's also comes out of the Games Workshop Black Library novelist world, but. He did his own fantasy uh, series. Um, what's his name? Uh, that just wrapped up. He put out a trilogy. Uh, Mike Brooks is his name, and the series is called the Godbreaker Trilogy. And uh, or sorry, the God King Chronicles. And those three books are fantastic. I do plan to have a do plan to have a channel in my Discord to discuss all of these. But I'd give two brief recommendations. Oh, let's see this first, though. That's he's one. Just for one. Oh. Yeah, like he why literally, not? He literally assisted here so he could block and then get the assist in, and then was like, <laughs> fuck it, I don't want an assist, I'll just 1D power. Yeah, just 1D him anyway. Why not? Uh... If it works. Again, this is... I think the Wiz might have tilted slightly. Yes. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> for sure. So my two top tips would be China Meville. Um, a young British writer uh, with a fantastic eye. Perdido Street Station was his, his breakthrough, but the, the ones set in that world afterwards, there's th four of them now, are uh, all very good, all very interesting. Tangentially linked rather than direct sequels. Um, and the other one would be the guy that wrote Altered Carbon, which was a better book than it was a reasonable Netflix series one series. I, two, uh, I, I never got through that series. I always wanted to go back to it because I, I wasn't like anti it. I just wasn't loving it so i put it down and never went back to it what you mean the um uh, the woken furies the uh, hideo takashi trilogy it's all right it's it's good trash fiction um but actually i quite liked his recent uh fantasy trilogy the dark defiles the cold remains and whatever the third one was uh, I'm not familiar. um I mean, it's very like china medieval very adult uh fantasy 
set in a whole different world that isn't one you recognise, but has you know some tropes that you would. Did I ever read the Thieves Guild series? No, I didn't. I, guess, I mean, I guess you just put to a strength four eh? because then you can have the assist, yeah. and it doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and the I mean the other ones on the ground nearby, so it'd be great for fetching, or at least an option for fetching, depending where it bounces out to. Also kind, of, on this kind of a last gasp here for this game, and I, if, if you'd have told me this game was going to end one nothing, <laughs> yeah, yeah, would not have I, believed me. I still don't think it's going to end one nothing. No. Yeah, yeah, fair <laughs> enough, two zero. But... <laughs> there we go, gets the pow. They kind of seem hesitant to do much else, haven't they? They've been very cagey for a such high. Um, High responsiveness, high agility, high speed teams. I expected a lot more end to end You're thrilling stuff, but it's been very cagey at times. And that whiz was brilliant, wasn't it? It's just <laughs> comedic goal. Brilliant is a word. Well, I mean, if you knew it was going to fail, holding it till the end of the game is best, isn't it? Yes. Because it still has the psychological impact without utterly yeah. pissing you off. Yeah, no, that's fair. So perhaps he had a little peek at his wizard card and realized it was a one. <laughs> if only he had a chance to roll five dice instead of one earlier in the uh, game. Yeah. Yep. Like a video's north, that's my idea, is to have a little corner of my um, Discord that is things like book recommendations. And then there'll be a, 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 cha a channel for people to you know, suggest ones and discuss it. And then a, a channel that is moderated with pinned ones that are you know, recommended and why and by whom. Because I'm always looking for good recommendations. So really, That's it's for so me. Really and then if other sound. people found it useful, great. But it would be for me, really. Only Spanks read books. <laughs> well, some do, some don't, Jim. It's you know, it's a very old-fashioned form of entertainment now. But my son's very into reading, weirdly, despite being an avid gamer and you know, does computing a lot and wants to build robots. But he loves a good book still. I can't even get him on a Kindle. He likes actual books. Yeah, I struggle with audio. I struggle with focusing on audiobooks a lot more than sitting down and reading. But like oh, sure. when I'm driving, yeah, it too. is still pretty nice. Yeah, what I've really found is um, there's a what got me into Audible was um, there's an Alan Partridge podcast series, which is written as a podcast, not as an audio book, um, and that's that's really really good because it's very much designed with that format in mind that you're listening to it, not reading it. Um, but just books, it, it depends. I, some of them I find really awful on Audible. One of my favorite uh, books on tape of all time was back when I was uh, pretty young. My dad owned the original uh, tapes, you know, the cassette tapes of uh, the BBC uh, Lord dramatization. Of the Rings? Uh, no, not Lord of the Rings. It was oh. a Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, well, that was the it's, other great one, yeah. Oh, fucking classic. Yeah. I can still yeah, hear yeah. that banjo music in my head and everything. We listened the, to it on every single car drive up to go skiing. <laughs> every single well, I mean, one. the greatest format that's probably ever been on, though the TV series yeah. is pretty good too. Yeah. I mean, that's um, the thing is like that, that version, because that book changes in every format you view it in. Yeah. That format of the story has always been my like headcanon. So even when I read the books, I'm like, oh, this is. Yes, different. and you're filling in it's with the, the noises of the, of the tape as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I was first read Lord of the Rings uh, as a nine year old by our English teacher who got through the syllabus in half the time so that he could spend the other half of the year reading as Lord of the Rings. So I've always heard all of the people in his voice. Um, but then I did pick up the BBC audio adaptation when I was about 17, 18, and that is stunning. It's so good. Of Lord of the Rings? Yeah. I haven't. I don't think I've heard that one. I just I just went through a book on tape of uh, Silmarillion this summer, and it was fantastic. But uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't done a dramatization one well, like well, I, like a BBC. I'm used to Audible one. Tolkien, so that might appeal to me. Thank, that's a tip. I should bear that in mind. Uh, and thank you, Hamas. Yes, and that's exactly the sort of thing I want. I want someone to drop a tip and tell me why. Yeah. And two or three other people to debate it, and then we'll pop it up in the permanent channel so everyone can see what was said. You know, sort of a bridged version. And we'll yeah, have a well, whole, the, a whole the list audible... of, sort of suggested books by people we probably know and might have similar tastes to us. Yeah, the the audible uh, Lord of the Rings 
Lord of the Rings Hobbit and Silmarillion are unabridged. Or you can get them both, but they have the unabridged versions. So. Well, this and was very really much good. a radio adaptation yeah. of yeah. Lord of the Rings, so it's all characterized yeah, 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 and acted. Yeah. It's, um, and it's very good. Yeah, that'd be cool. Peter F. Hamilton does do excellent science fiction, I can agree with you there. I mean, I, I should start getting into doing some audible books, absolute pinnacle, but they don't pay particularly well, unless you're Stephen Fry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stephen Fry is the best. Stephen Fry is very good at what he does. There's a reason why he makes the money for that. But yeah, if you want your book to be successful, get it read by Stephen Fry. It is for, even for Stephen Fry. It has famously been quite hard to be Stephen Fry. <laughs> hard skill to learn. All right, what's he doing? He could just hand off and score, right? Like that's that's worth thinking about, isn't it? Is he blitzed yet? I don't think so. So he could blitz. So it's then so one in eighty one, then a one in thirty six, and then he goes two mil up. Oh, oh indubitably humorous chip. I don't have the same turn. I could do a much better job as a um Don't you just Brian, score? blessed it was. He loves yeah, why do, ball we, There's been twenty turns like this, Jim. Why don't they ever want to score? Yeah, like like, but this is the turn, right? Because that, that's yeah. a two D blitz, and then it's yeah. a handoff, and it's a like it's a one in eighty one, and then one in thirty six to score. Yeah. And it's like... Literally, all he's accomplished now is kept the rats alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I mean, I guess we're not in their headspace, seeing it the way they're seeing yeah. it. But all of us think this should have been just scored and won and done. Yeah, because mm. oh, that'd be good, Ian Holm. I'd be I'd be on board for that, Satter. Oh yeah, Satterfield, that does sound lovely. Actually, my first ever agent uh, took me on because he thought I could be the next Ray Winston. Yeah. That was a thing that was said to me, Steve. Hmm. Yeah, um, he knows that. That's why he said it. <laughs> the problem is I've got a public school education, so whilst I can drop into, you know, a Ray Winston London, and it's completely normal to me. I, I'm bigger than that. I'm wider than that. I am my own human. But no, oh. Brian Blessed would be the one I'd want to be. Flashes a light. <laughs> I'd like to hear an audio book of Hammers just calling people spanks. <laughs> it just really cracks me up. <laughs> yeah, Hammers, do I, do I, I, I even want to know what that is? <laughs> just like a I have, nerd. I have read a fair amount of Neil Asher. I consider it. Um, interesting, but but. Slightly trashy sci-fi in places. Uh, this is obviously my partner. I'll have to go. Stay right. Oh, dear me. Now we gotta talk about the stupid game of Ugh. stupid can. <laughs> stupid game of Blood Bowl. Ugh. <laughs> Just gonna base an elf. Yeah, well, elf that never seconds. fails. Mm. Shut up, Muppet. You don't know me. <laughs> Muppet's playing at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I may not be awake for that, Muppet. 9 a.m. your time? Yeah. Or 9 a.m. my time? 9 a.m. my time. Oh, that might be too early for me. But I don't know, I'm so shattered. I might just go to sleep straight after this and not do the next two replays. But I might do the next two replays. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the original trilogy, the original Icewind Dale trilogy, was like my first experience with non Lord of the Rings fantasy. I was pretty, I was very young when I read it, and I, I and I enjoyed it. But like, you know, it's just like pulp actiony, like fun. Like I have nothing against them, but I, I never got super big into a lot of the D and D books. But I did get that one. Uh, like I said, the author R. A. Salvatore is a local guy, so like, I always thought that was cool. I don't. I've like gotten books. to meet him a few times. I don't like books. I can re recommend Game of Thrones if you like reading about food. Because <laughs> he's fucking obsessed by the food in it, isn't he? Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's not going to score. Is he an Irish cousin? <laughs> yeah. ah, his last name could be Irish. Sal no, no, it's Italian. He's very Italian. <laughs> he's like me, right? He's like the one not Irish guy in Boston. <laughs> 
don't understand, Phineas. I guess he's like, yeah, but the scaving can one turn and then get a blitz. Yeah, that's much more likely than them just cave di cage diving and stealing the ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, I, I, no matter how hard it is for them to cage dive, it's, it's, yeah. it's probably easier than coming back from 2 0 down, so. In fairness, though, the Skaven player seems completely uninterested in cage diving. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> at this point, you might as well. <laughs> like, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Pretty much the worst case scenario now for the Wood Elves is they might lose a player before their next game. Mm. That PC had to take off, Raven. I guess it would be tomorrow, Raven, because he's been streaming quite a bit, and he's a yeah. His wife, he said yeah. his wife isn't home till Saturday, so you yeah. know maybe maybe daily. <laughs> mushroom patch. No, he had a, a wife phone call, not a mushroom patch uh, incident. Incident that makes that sounds rough. The mushroom He's gonna randomly incident. blitz a randomly blitz a war dancer on the outside here. No, just, yeah, why not? Get some SPP for uh, open. He is, he's, he's trying to level up. This guy's 29 out of 31. Wow. This game had so much potential to be so wonderful. Yeah. And it yeah. just wasn't. Doesn't even pretend to get a scoring threat. Oh, wow. Do you know what? On this day, eleven years ago, I got the Red Ring of Death on my uh, on my Xbox. Well, <laughs> uh... six days till Modern Warfare Three, and my Xbox is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good to know Facebook reminds you of the things that really matter in your in your life. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Red ring. <laughs> oh, God. Well, thanks for having me on. This was <laughs> less fun than I'd hoped. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> this was less fun than pulling one. teeth. <laughs> Literally just surrendered at the end here. Like, why not try to roll a six and win the game? Or tie yeah. the game? Yeah. Like, literally, literally, the what else should just not score just to assert dominance? Yeah, absolutely. 100%. I mean, he should score, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> this was a game. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Our Dardle scored in a tribute, Dardle tribute elf. <laughs> kind of. Dardle Queef. <laughs> Dardle Queef. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your name forever now. Yeah, that's brilliant, no. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, we, weird that the rats just didn't really try to win for much of the game. Um, strange, wasn't it? A strange game. A very strange game. Yeah, I don't... I don't really enjoy this. <laughs> 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 like this is the game like the other games were mildly entertaining i guess or we had fun during them we had fun during this one too but like this is the game right now where i'm seriously like man i woke up and started streaming blood bowl with jim and i wasn't planning on doing that what the fuck did i do with my day <laughs> oh 
Oh yeah, people are t people are calling uh, Jake Paul's fight fixed, aren't they? Because every boxing match is fixed. Yeah. Well, not all of them. Not all of the ones with vicious knockouts <laughs> are fixed, it's are fake. they? It's all as fake as wrestling. I don't think people are deliberately sustaining CTE for fun. <laughs> You know, so, some of it, like a lot of the box, a lot of the judging's fixed as fuck, isn't it? But yeah, some of his fights, he's fucking not, people spark out. It's uh, did did you know? Did you know that the tribal chief is fighting Logan Paul at uh, at, in? I did, yeah, I did hear that. Mm. In fairness, I won't say many good things about the Paul brothers or any of their bullshit because it just doesn't interest me and I don't care. But like, I will say from everything I have heard about that dude, he like is far more committed to doing his time in WWE like with respect and correctly and like working at it and trying to be good at it than like most celebrities that come in doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. And he's the the sad reality is he would beat up most of the roster, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I I don't know about that, but Well well he's he's actually trained at boxing and they're just Yeah, but most of those guys this thing is most pro wrestlers have like MMA backgrounds these days. Like almost all of them have some sort of combat ex combat sports experience. Some of them are just show muscles, but like not all of them. Oh look, a one turn. This yeah. ought to be this ought to go well being down two nothing. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm very aware of the opportunity uh, involved in me, but like, you know, for the last four turns he didn't try to win the game. Why try to win now? Yeah. And the whole method, just for you, Jim. Yep. Yep, yeah, the absolute worst way of scoring a one turn. Yeah, for Skaven of all things, too. Like, come yeah. on. Will he get an extra push here? Or will he not? Oh, no, he can't because he hasn't got somebody here. <laughs> yeah, this is oh God. painful, isn't it? No, you know, no offense, no offense to Zahir, even though PC was pretty strong when he came in, which then set the tone, and maybe it was a too mocking tone. So, you know, no offense, Zahir. Sorry, you know, maybe, but, uh, maybe there was chalice nerves. Maybe it was just you know, whatever, but. Is what it is, isn't it? And, uh, yeah. It is what it is, indeed, and it is kind of a pile of shit. Yeah, not the best game we've ever seen. Hey, he he has played better than I've ever played in CCL playoffs, so I'm not one to judge. There you go. But also, I've lost less games than he has now lost in CCO playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It was almost like an autopilot. An autopilot CCO game rather than a actual game that you're trying to win in playoffs. Spider's better than all of us. Spider's the yeah. best of us. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and I am undefeated against Spider. Oh no, that's not true. I think I have lost the Spider. I've certainly lost a Spider. He dies the I think I'm. Well, I think I'm one and one against Spider. Because I beat him in whatever that terrible league was, and then I think I lost to him in uh, Blitz Pit qualifiers. I lost to him in the, uh, what was it called, the GG tour. <laughs> and he just spanked me. Oh my god, that game was fucking awful. <laughs> I, I think I remember that now. Yeah, yeah, it was fucking awful. <laughs> you definitely remember it because it was definitely <laughs> fucking awful. <laughs> hey. What's this? Oh my god, we gotta watch another one of these. Yeah. Could literally just add and turn and win the game. I know, I know. There's that yeah, like obviously he should, he obviously should do this, but like, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, 
Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Oh, you put fuck to the wrong guy. Is there a guard player? Where the fuck's the guard player? He could have. He could have blocked it. Oh yeah, the, the catcher. The oh, was he not him. on in the first half? Um, or did I just miss him? I think maybe he got injured or something. Yeah. He's pushing him up the field. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Further and further away from the ball, as it were. Mm, he's got the hand up and pass. I think somebody got cast and he appled the cast and maybe he got cast and then. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe that's what it was. Him, yeah. yeah, I remember someone saying that there was guard on the on the field in the first half and I was like, no, there fucking isn't. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I can't tell. But I'm not running the client, I'm just watching Jim's feed, so it's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah. Oh, you, can, you can put that guy in there, I can't. Well, like we said, we knew it was going to be a high-scoring affair. It sure, sure didn't feel like a like a three-one victory game. It felt more like a one-nothing. Is it GFI? Do it two GFI. Get them both, and that's a, that's a three-one win. So there you go. Ended up a, a, a rather high-scoring game in the end. Uh, it looked like it was going to be one-nil for a long time. <laughs> You know, if we had been more invested in the game, I think it would be interesting to analyze how different the first half play versus the second half play was. But I think there was not enough of a sense of urgency from the Rats uh, throughout the game. Yeah, <laughs> in, yeah, in general. I think, yeah, he should have set up better against the Blitz, and then when he didn't, he should have. He should have. I think he should have gone straight away with the Wizard to try and get it back and yeah. stabilize, like because he was. But it was always going to be hard, right? Because like whatever he did, like the the dancers could always just come and get him, and like he couldn't stop them from coming. And like I, I understand being hesitant to use a wizard in against wood elves because like it's like oh my god, it's going to be awful to be down a wizard and having wood elves wood elfing me. But like just allowing them to wood elf you isn't the answer to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, you don't want to have to use it, but you have to use it. So yeah, so that's it. Right, well, there you go. Commiserations to Zahu. Congratulations to Memento Mori. Thank you very much to uh, The Departed, Daedal, and uh, PC, and Skuro. Thank you very much. Absolutely glorious. The dearly departed. Yep. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.